I am Navneet Patwari and I will discuss chapter 9 the role of family and friends in shaping your habits of the book Atomic Habits by James Clear Here the author talks about a person who solely believes in the power of hard work deliberate practice and the development of new habits He doesn't believe in inborn talent rather he says that a genius is not born but is educated and trained so the author shares that how our habits have been formed or influenced that is our habits are influenced by the society and the cultural norms these are invisible but they influence us to a great extent by guiding our behaviors and helping us in developing our new habits the author also shares that we inspire habits from the three groups in general the first one the first is the closed ones second the many and the third the powerful ones all of this provides opportunity to apply our second behavioral change and help us to calculate out the habits which are more attractive the first is the closed ones this can be our family members friends or colleagues at our work for example when a friend tries to do something new we also give it a try on the other hand this doesn't work well if we are in a bad company so one of the most effective thing to build better habits is to join those joint culture where our desired behavior is their normal behavior it means like if you want to become like someone we have to start mixing up with him or her and if if the people and if the both people have something in common then the strategy proves to be much more effective and we build up our new habits the second is the many for example when we are unsure how to act then we look then we instantly look up to our social group to guide our own behavior thus the group's behavior leads our own behavior this can be there can be a negative side to it also when the group's behavior overpowers our own desired behavior for example when changing our own habits means challenging the group then the change becomes unattractive but when changing the habits means fitting into the group then the change can be attractive the third and the last one is the powerful ones we are drawn to the behaviors that earn us respect admiration and status we look upon to those successful and powerful people because we want to become success ourselves too their behavior guide our own behaviors thus powerful people also have much more influence on our own behavior and thus habits here is a summary of the book the culture we live in determines which behavior is attractive to us second we tend to adopt those habits that are praised by our culture as we have a strong desire to fit in and belong to the group there are three main social groups from which we imitate the habits the closed ones the many and the powerful ones the most effective strategy to adopt new habits is to join a culture where our desired behavior is their normal behavior and we have already something in common with that group if a particular behavior is on us respect praise status then it then we find it attractive at last we have come to the end of the chapter thank you